help us piece together the clues to find out who done it while we flip our lids with some crazy hats. Mix in some thirsty carpenters and find out how it all comes together. We'll investigate next on Breaking Crazy Boys vs. Girls! Hi, I'm Chuck Caro, and this is Trading Spaces, Boys vs. Girls, the show where we find out what happens when boys redecorate girls' rooms and girls redecorate boys' rooms in only two days. As always, they get the expertise of our talented designers and carpenters to help them out. And one other thing, no parents allowed. On the boys' team are brothers Vinny and JR. They both agree that Vinny has outgrown his room. I don't like my wallpaper because I had it when I was younger, and now I really don't like my kitty stuff anymore. Sisters Julia and Jenna really like the old antique look of Julia's room. Like, I like my antique furniture because if it was painted, it would change its personality. The worst thing they could do was modernize her room. The expression on her face would be like complete <sighs> horror. All right, you guys ready for today's challenge? Yeah! Woo! All right, I can tell you are. Now, whoever wins today's challenge can choose either the labor savers to do their homework for them, or they can choose the clue box, which is going to give them a hint about what's going on in their room. Today's challenge is called Big Mouth. Let me see your big mouth. That's right. You recognize those two big mouths over there? Yeah. yeah. And Bart. These are our thirsty carpenters. And this is how the challenge is going to go down. You're going to use those tin cans to actually pick up paint in your tubs there. Then you're going to hurl the paint into the mouths of our thirsty carpenters. That paint is going to collect in buckets behind their mouths. Whoever has the most paint in the bucket at the end of 20 seconds wins the challenge. All right, here we go. On your mark. Get set, go! Good aim, girls. Better pick up the pace, boys. Both teams are hitting their targets, but who will have enough to win? It's time to see which of these carpenters has had their thirst quenched. All right, let's... Do the ladies first, because the ladies first, right? Yeah. Super. The girls have two and a half pounds, and the boys... Boys have three and a half pounds. The boys win the challenge. Yeah! Yeah! Congratulations. Now, you got a big decision here. You can choose either the labor savers or the clue box. But don't tell me now. I'll come back at homework time to get your decision. And remember, whatever you don't pick, you guys get. So it's really not that bad of a deal, right? <laughs> Let's go over some of the rules. For the next two days, you have to spend the night at each other's houses. You have absolutely no say-so as to what goes on in your room. And you're not allowed to talk to each other. No communication whatsoever. You ready to get to work? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Designer Jordan and Carpenter Bart will be helping the boys mix the old with some new in Julia's bedroom. Hey, hey nice. yes. looking really sharp there. Good to see you guys. So we're in yeah. Julia's room, and you told me on the phone that she doesn't like anything new. So explain to me what that means. Well, she likes antiques, a lot of old things. And you were telling me something about her fashion sense. Well, she really likes hats. Yeah? Yeah, she used to wear them every day to school. What are we going to do to tie those themes together? Well, she likes hats and antiques. So let's give her an old-time hat shop. I love that idea. That's great. What would we do in this old-time hat shop? Well, we can make her some hats to put in a room. Maybe a counter with an antique cash register. Well, I was thinking maybe we could build her something to put her hats on. That's great. Like a hat tree or something. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. Right. That'd be great. Good. You guys, well, let's take a step back in time, put our thinking caps on, enter the year 1940, and Julia's millinery is open for business. Let's go. All right. On the girls' side are designer Scott and carpenter Janine. They are ready to investigate what the girls have in mind for Vinny's room redo. Did someone call for the crime scene investigators? Oh, <laughs> How are you? Good. How are you? Very good, very good. So in Vinny's room, I know he's obviously yeah. into this whole crime sort of lab thing, right? 
Well, he really likes all the card yeah. shows. What are we going to do in here to really make it special? Um, well, we've got a sketch drawn for you. Oh, wow, you sure do. <laughs> we could put, like, wanted posters of the cast. That's a really cool idea, girl. Also, he really likes to run his little mm -hmm. test, you can see here. Yeah, <laughs> so we need, like, a lab for him to do his uh -huh. work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The texture would be, like, glass and tile and metal. Sort of high tech, everything uh -huh. sort of illuminated with yeah. lights and stuff. I think the first thing we should do is clear out this room. Yeah. And yeah. then we Go. should get to work. All uh, right? Yeah. Get to solving the crime. Let's do it. <laughs> Boyce and Jordan have to prime Julia's walls before they can start a paint treatment that will look like vintage wallpaper. Now, what do you think's going on in your room, Ben? I know you got wallpaper in there. You think they're keeping it? I hope not. Well, Vinny, you've got your wish. Say goodbye to the ugly oh, wallpaper. wallpaper. Yeah. Extra, extra, read all about it. Boys win challenge. Big choice next. Will they choose the labor savers or the clue box? Find out on Trading Spaces, boys versus girls. All right, one more and perfect. I love it. Hey, hey, guys, hey, how are you? You like my uh, hat tree? Well, I'll need a coat of paint, and, um, and then it'll be good. We'll take it up. Another Missing something. Good call, boys. After what's a hat tree without the branches? This is a much nicer looking tree than the one I had at the beginning. <laughs> Both carpenters will be busy today as Scott and the girls show Janine their exciting plans for Finney's bed. I want to figure out a way to do this bed that's also a light box, okay? Uh-huh. And the idea is that when it's down, it's a light box. It looks like a desktop where you can okay. kind of figure out the crime. But with the press of a button, the light box will rise into the ceiling, <laughs> and okay. underneath will reveal the mattress and the bed. Right, okay. so it's a bed and a desk, and it's a motor, and it's a ceiling, and we have a lot of work to do. <laughs> a bed that raises to the ceiling? What a crazy idea. While the girls get to work on their lofty plans, the boys are making an old-time poster using a familiar face. So you guys, I found this amazing photograph of Julia in the room, and I wanted to create a vintage poster, like a hat store poster, like these French ones, based on this photograph of her. Look at that. Yeah. Good idea. All right, so I'm just going to slide this down so we can work on the lettering. Le beau chapeau. That's French for the beautiful hats. What do you think she's going to think of our painting? Yeah, I yeah. think so, like all of it. Great job, boys. And it looks like that poster idea is catching on. All right, guys, we have our suspects. Suspects? Wait, are these wanted posters? What's your alias? Um, I'm not sure yet. Alias? Hey, what's mine? His known alias is Lizard Man. Brown eyes, no hair. <laughs> And he was last seen shining his head in your room. <laughs> hey, very funny, guys. Maybe I'll get a little more respect from the boys' team where they're trying on some nifty vintage hats. It's a Victorian voter hat. Yo, yo, everybody, what's happening? How you doing, Chad? Hey, I'm good. Look at you trying on your hat. Come on, try one on. Yeah, try oh, on this one. Oh, yeah, let me see. That's from the 1920s. 1920s? Like yeah. Wow, who knew trying on old hats could be so much fun? I feel like a bird. Oh. <laughs> That's great. But enough fun, because there's a lot more work to be done. The girls are mapping out a pattern for Vinny's terrific new tile floor, while the boys are using ink stamps to create vintage accents on their faux wallpaper facade. Okay, it's homework time. This morning, the boys won the challenge, so that means they get to choose between the labor savers or the clue box. Let's go find out which one they're going to choose. Hey, 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 fellas hey, and ladies. Yeah. Well, it is homework time, I can tell. It so is certainly homework time. You need to make a decision. Is it going to be the clue box or is it going to be the labor savers? Labor, labor savers. savers. All labor right. Savers. All right. Well, Vinny, you take one. JR, you take one. And I'm going to go take this over to the girls. Excellent. See you. Thanks. Right. It's a good thing you guys chose the labor savers because we have a lot of homework. <laughs> tell them what they have to do, guys. You have to paint the walls. And then you have to stamp them. You got that, Labor Savers? Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. All righty. Hey, uh-oh, 
I guess it's mm, homework dun, time. Dun. <laughs> this can only mean one thing, it's homework time. The guys obviously chose the labor saver, so ladies, yeah. that means you get the clue box. All right, let's see what we go. got. And I am out of here. That's a good sign. A bottle cap? This is a good sign. Wow, what's that mean? It's yeah, like an old, old bottle cap. Like a collectible or antique. All right, well, the good news is that you have a clue. The bad news is now we have to do our own homework. <laughs> so homework is going to be to glue all these tiles down. All right? And this way the floor will be done in the morning when we get here. Um, and we can do, get the bed in and all the other cool stuff. All right? So let's put our clue away. We can think about that tonight, try to figure it out. And let's get to work on this floor. What do you think of these antiques I got? Nice. Joey's nice. really gonna like these. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad you think so. So the painting in here is amazing. Yeah, the labor savings are really good. So we have a lot to do today. What do we have to do? We have to bring in the cash register and the counter. Right. And then we gotta put the bed together and arrange the hats all around the room. Wow, that's a lot. Let's get to it. All right. <laughs> what in the world happened? Our floor is a mess. We worked, we worked so, so hard. hard on it. What's that smell? Is that, is that fish food? It must have been the boys. Wait, 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 wait. This is all evidence. I see Jordan's sunglasses. Some, hey, has some anyone seen going my on. screw gun? I left it here last night. All right, guys, it looks like we have our first crime to solve, the case of the missing screw gun. A mystery, huh? I better get to the bottom of this. Hey, hey, hey. what's hey, happening? Hey, Greg, we're making a hat sign for Julia's room. Julia's hat shop. Did you guys sleep OK last night? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Labor Savers did our homework. We were cool. Uh, Jordan, yeah. um, it's kind of bright outside. I need to head over to the other place. Okay. Can I borrow your sunglasses? Sure. Oh, you know what? I gave them to Bart uh, yesterday. So, boys, who's feeding your fish while you're gone? I right, have somebody doing it for me. Interesting. Let's see how the girls are doing with their evidence. I think I see a piece of sawdust on this hair. We have a fingerprint. I think we're getting closer to solving this crime. While the investigators ponder who done it, the boys are making custom hats for Julia's hat shop. Add a bit of spray paint for some color, then top them with a few feathers, and these hats are ready to sell. Let's try them on. Yeah. I look pretty. Looking good, Vinny. But I think that hat might look better on Julia. Speaking of Julia, the test results are in, and the investigators have their man. Um, Bart, is there something you want to tell us? Whose screw gun is that? Uh, mine. Uh, I don't think so. We have the evidence. Fish food, sunglasses, your hair. We've got it all. Fish food. Oh! All right, I confess. I was looking for a screw gun, couldn't find one, figured there'd be one in your room. Couldn't find my goggles either. I was missing everything. Jordan loaned me her sunglasses, and on my way over, Vinny asked me to go and feed his fish. So I got over there, found the screw gun, put the fish food down, and in my haste, I kicked over the paint. And I didn't know what to do. I panicked. So I just left. I ran. I'm sorry. Can I have the drill back? Sure. Sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Great job, investigators. Now you can install the dry erase boards in Vinny's room. It's a good thing the girls didn't need a nail gun, because Bart and the boys are using one to put up new chair rail molding. Nice. That looks great, guys. Hey, guys. Anyone open for business? Hey, I need a bit of a repair. This door looks great, Bart. Thank you. Cool. A Dutch door for Julia's shop. And how about a glass door for Vinny's new evidence cabinet? After spelling out the word evidence on the door with vinyl, the girls use a special spray to make the glass around the lettering look frosted. That looks really cool. Beautiful. Now she has her very own antique cash register. Wow. Back in Julia's hat shop, the boys are ready to ring up their first customer. Cool. You take credit card? It's 1940. We don't take credit cards, do uh, we, guys? Nice. Oh, wow. Wow. This is terrific. I know it's been taking a while, but it looks really good, guys. That's his bed uh -huh. and this canopy thing. Oh, well, let me give you a demonstration. Ready? Yeah. And now it's a desk. <laughs> That's great. 
great. <laughs> so it could be a desk for him to do his homework or a puzzle. Or solve a crime. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Crimes are <laughs> time. well, as cool as this is, this is getting kind of late. we got to finish this up. Let's all get to it, and we'll, we'll be done before we know it. Let's do it. Let's go. Right. Yeah. Sounds good. But wait, I have to take this call. Hello? Okay. Time's up. I think this case is closed. We're done! That looks great on you! Guess what, you guys? We're done! Will Vinny marvel at his modern crime lab? And will Julia flip her lid over her old-time hat shop? Find out next on Trading Spaces, Boys vs. Girls. Vinny thought the decor of his old bedroom was a crime, but those charges won't stand up in court when he sees his new lab equipped with stainless steel counters, his own evidence cabinet, and a fancy new tile floor. Plus, he's got brand new lab testing equipment to solve crimes and dry erase boards to track suspects. And best of all is his fantastic light box work desk that raises to the ceiling to reveal his bed at the push of a button. How did you come up with the theming for this incredible room? I love it. Well, he really loves all those crime scene shows and he's more like the, the lab technician. I think he's really gonna like it. Let's talk about some of the projects. <laughs> oh, the biggest one being our bed. It doesn't really look like a bed. Comes up with a push of a button. And the bed obviously is, is underneath it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I saw some photographs there. Not too flattering. <laughs> Our suspect wall, and you're on it. I think we're yeah. all on it. This looks like just a, a lab counter, but it actually doubles as his dresser. He yeah. can store all his clothes, books, right? We have a sink back here that we've yeah. made into his yeah. little bookshelf. Vinny, what's he going to do? He's probably going to put on his thinking cap and start looking into mysteries. Open your eyes. Whoa. Whoa! This is amazing! Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow! It's just, wow. Is it, the floor Whoa. is awesome. Nice. That's my bed. Is it a bed? Is it? Where is it? I don't know. You see on the top, it's an examining table, or you can do your homework, but underneath... Whoa! <laughs> that's awesome. Man, that's Amazing. awesome. You've got an investigator's jacket right there. And that's suspects. Yeah. Well, what kind of su suspects? TSI, Trading Spaces Investigation. There you go. We've got Vinny and JR. We've got Jordan, Janine. Everybody's on there. What's yeah. your favorite part of the entire room? Now I have all this testing. I really like that. Do you think the girls did a great job? Yep. Yep. We're going back in time as Julia's old bedroom has been transformed into a nifty 1940s hat shop. She's got an antique cash register to ring up customers and antique furniture to store her clothes and hat supplies. Plus, her old desk now doubles as the store counter. And that new day bed looks great alongside all those vintage hats, some of them over 100 years old. It's no wonder they call Julia's hat shop the best toppers in town. Julia's? Hat shop. Yep, open hat. for business. Yeah. Why a hat shop? Because she likes to collect hats. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of got this vintage old feel to it. Julia will really enjoy that. So there's like tons of hats everywhere. Oh, well, they're from younger times, like the 1800s, mm -hmm. 1900s. But you guys also made some hats for her. They yeah. did. You can't even tell which ones they made. They're so professional. You did a lot of painting in this room. Mm -hmm. But there's all these little ladies wearing hats. We used some ink and some stamps and we stamped them on. How do you think she's going to react? Think... Oh my gosh, look at these hats. All right, ladies, take a look at your new room. I think I'm gonna faint. 
Now the boys actually made some of the hats in here. Oh. The blue one and the black one. Yeah. But you also have this. <gasps> it's called a Dutch door. <gasps> oh my gosh! Something else that they made, they saw this picture of you and that oh, inspired yeah. them to create the picture that's behind you. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful! You think the boys did a great job? They, they did an awesome job! Come on in, fellas! Hey, thank you, guys! <laughs> this is thank so you. cool! And of course, there's some other people that you owe some thanks to. That's our designers, Scott and Jordan, and our carpenters, Bart and Janine! Oh, <laughs> 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 well, that's another great episode of Trading Spaces Boys vs. Girls. I'm Chuck Carroll. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Wow. Is this your room? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is incredible. <laughs>